picture this. You've got a list containing 1 million numbers, and you're on a mission to calculate their square values and put them inside a new list. As you may already know, you have three options for this kind of situations. For loop, map function, and finally, list comprehension. What method do you think will conquer this challenge faster? Which one will outshine the rest when it comes to memory efficiency? List comprehension in Python provide a fast and readable way to create lists. It offers a more compact syntax for generating lists compared to traditional for loops. For example, let's say you have a list of numbers and want to create a new list containing the squares of each number. The equivalent list comprehension for the same task is much more concise. Here's an example that uses a list comprehension with a conditional statement to create a list of squares for even numbers. In this example, the condition filters out odd numbers and the expression squares each remaining even number. Set and dictionary comprehensions follow a similar syntax to list comprehension, but with some differences. Here, the set comprehension creates a set containing the squares of even numbers from the original list. Note the use of curly braces to denote sets. And finally, dictionary comprehension includes key value pairs. In this example, the dictionary comprehension creates a dictionary where each element of the original list is a key and the corresponding value is its square. You can use map and for loop instead of list comprehension. Both options help you achieve the same goal of building a list. But which method is more efficient? Here we define three methods using different approaches to get square numbers. Then, we instruct time it to get execution time of them. As you can see in this case, list comprehension is the fastest way, which is not a surprise because list comprehension stores the entire list in the memory. And memory is fast. To wrap it up here is a chart that helps you to decide whether you should use list comprehension or other alternatives. First of all, ask yourself, does performance really matter in your scenario? If not, go for the approach that keeps your code the cleanest. For example, using more than two for loops in your comprehension can make the code less readable, and you have to revert to the traditional method of creating a list. As you already know, list comprehension stores the entire list in memory. So if you are dealing with large data, using list comprehension may lead to slowing down your computer or even crashing. In such situations, generators can be a more suitable alternative. But if your data is not too large and you want to make your execution time as short as possible generally, list comprehension is the way to go. Happy coding.